Well, it is time again now for NetCheck on BON News. China's labor market is finding itself in an odd predicament. During last year's financial crisis, which has dragged into well into this year, millions of migrant workers returned home as factories shut down in the big cities. Now, as the Chinese economy is recovering, there is a growing shortage of laborers in some industries in some regions, since a lot of those migrant workers are reluctant to leave their hometowns and head back to the big cities to search for work. Well, the situation has surfaced online here in China, and BON researcher Quincy Xiao has more on the issue. Well, Quincy, uh, having a lack of workers in China is probably surprising to a lot of people from outside of China. What kind of comments are people making about this issue online? Well, most of the people say they understand why the migrant workers are not too eager to try and find jobs far from their hometowns. They say these workers have contributed a lot to city construction projects, but haven't gotten much in return. As well, some people also point out that the conditions of many rural areas are improving, so many workers are not as willing to find jobs outside their hometowns. The workers would rather stay with their families than travel far away away for months for little pay. And Quincy, is anybody worried that this worker shortage could become more serious? Migrant workers are not just the biggest source of labor for urban construction. They also support many industries. Some people are beginning to ask what the future of China's export-driven economy will be if the country begins to lose these types of workers. Others say that this could be a sign that China is facing an economic transition where cheap Chinese labor isn't so cheap anymore. That is BON's Quincy Xiao reporting for today's NetCheck. Uh, you know, it's important to point out, to Tom, that this problem isn't exactly widespread throughout the country. It seems to be uh, limited to more of the eastern coastal areas, particularly Pearl River Delta, uh, Zhejiang Province, maybe around Shenzhen as well. Um, Zhejiang, though, uh, in particular, reporting that it is lacking as many as 250,000 laborers, so that's a significant problem. Yeah, I mean, there's thousands of uh, factories down in these areas. And a lot of them, are particularly those ones producing things like toys last year, towards the end of last year, and uh, textiles and garments, had to lay off thousands, tens of thousands of people. Yeah. And so, as, as we were saying, you know, they flooded back to the countryside. Mm -hmm. Now it's a question of luring them back. You've got yeah. the run-up to the Christmas season. Uh, these factories need to be churning out things like toys, uh, trainers and jeans and all the rest of it, and sending them off to, to the yeah. U.S. and Europe. Oh, sure. You know, and given the uncertainty created by the financial crisis and the problems uh, that are related to these laborers leaving home, leaving their families, in particular their children, it's, it's not hard to understand why they're somewhat reluctant right now with all that uncertainty.